Oh, look at all those noodles. Pad Thai with pickled papaya and basil is a must try. Cut into nice little pieces. Two teaspoons of corn flour, a little bit of salt. I'm gonna give that a little mix on my pieces. Always good to coat the chicken before you fry it. A little bit of a crispy edge, prevents it from drying out. Where do we use the fat from? Um, from the beef uh, Swedish meatballs. Ah, from the Swedish meatballs. Great. So a little bit of fat from Swedish meatballs. A little bit. Okay, in goes the chicken. There you go, Mr. Chicken. And we're just going to give it a quick fry. It is going to come back into the pan later. But just get it started here. Yes. The chicken being cooked a little bit hot. So you see, it all, it all comes apart in the end. And works out beautifully. We're good. Shut up this oyster sauce. So add in some oyster sauce now. Right, so chicken's got the oyster sauce on it. And we're ready to take this out now. Then I'll get the papaya. Alright, so we're gonna just put our chicken to one side. Right, in here I've got a chicken stock cube and I'm going to put a nice big teaspoon of chunky peanut butter. I know it seems weird, but stick with me. Then I'm going to let this all simmer together with a cup of boiling water. So I've got peanut butter and a chicken stock cube. I just want those to all melt and dissolve so that when I'm ready over there, I can just pour this in. Stems. We treat differently from top stems. You need to cut quite small. You don't want these big chunks of leaf that you can't pick up with your chopstick nicely. So we're gonna chop them like we did before. This way, but we can chop now a bit chunkier. But we'll show you a special trick now. Because this is still gonna be a really big leaf, which is difficult to deal with. So turn your knife. I like using a small knife. You guys probably have the big knives, but Turn your knife 90 degrees and just chop through that leaf so you got more manageable bits. This was quite strong when I ate it, pretty garlicky, so I'm going to keep it quite small so you don't get too much at once. I'm going to treat it more like a chive. So I'm going to scramble it up. Go on veggies. I'm going to start with the onions. Kind of take the longest to cook. Just mix up the noodles a little bit. Alright, a little bit of carrot going in. I get them nice and thin like this by using the potato peeler. Keep peeling away and the bottom part of that bok choy thing. And then just mix it up. I'm not going to add my aromatics. Garlic paste, ginger, and a bit of lemon zest. Fleur de ale or garlic chives. At this point, I'm going to pop in a little bit of lemon juice. And a little sprinkle of sugar. Leafy bits, because they cook the pickets of the bok choy. You can use whatever vegetables you want. Put the vegetables to one side, we're going back to the egg that we scrambled in our cup. I'm going to pour that in there. You can use more egg if you want. How you like, we only had one left, so... And then you're just going to leave it for a little bit. Kind of let it almost be an omelet. Okay, so the egg is starting to look opaque. We're just going to loosely scramble it. Like I said, one egg, two egg, however much egg you want. Uh, mix the egg into the veg. Cool, guys. So chicken we cooked earlier. Adding it back in. That's just chicken with corn flour and a little bit of oyster sauce. Add the noodles to the bowl. Right, so I'm going to grab them together. Cut nice chunks out of my basil so we can put it on top. I'm going to cut a couple of wedges out the lemon. So I got my gorgeous chicken and veg mix and the egg, which I'm going to pop on there. Peanut butter. So we're gonna 
pour a bit of that on. So you can see a little bit, just a little bit in the noodle. Like you'd have with your noodles. Pickled papaya. I'm going to put some of that there. This is really hot. So I'm going to give Brian three pieces. <laughs> so sprinkle a bit of soy sauce on there. Fresh lemon. And fresh basil. That looks so nice. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Squeeze a bit of lemon. I got extra lemon for in a minute. Mm -hmm. But I want to get to the eating now. Oh, oh look at all those noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Peanutty. Peanutty, but. We came for the papaya. Okay, have a little spicy papaya with that. Mm. Hot and vinegary. Mm. <laughs> no, it's a bit chilled. Cool. Mm. Hot and vinegary. <laughs> there it comes. Mm. <laughs> Pad Thai with pickled papaya and basil is a must try. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Cantonese style noodles. Mm. 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 Now you have to take a sip of your bowl. Mm. <laughs> you got all oh. red from the chili. Mm. <laughs> I don't like Cantonese style. <laughs>